We start with a legend, the Jaguar XJ220. Released in 1994, it cost £400,000 and had a top speed of 220 miles an hour. Back then, this was the fastest road car on the planet. It's the perfect benchmark for this, the brand new Jaguar XKRS. With 550 horsepower, it's exactly as powerful as its famous uncle. So, I wonder if it can keep up. And we're away. It's neck and neck. I think I'm going to beat him to 62. He's edging up foot to the floor. Now he's really on the way. The extra 400 kilos of weight I'm carrying is beginning to show. I'm beating 170, 180, 190, and he's well away. So the first thing you need to know is that the XKRS isn't as fast as a supercar icon, but it's unbelievably close. The second thing you need to know is that it's seriously expensive. This XKRS costs £100,000, and that's 20 grand more than the XKR. So how do they justify that? Well, a sports exhaust, lowered suspension, and an extra 40 horsepower goes some way to explain it. But I reckon a big chunk of it goes on the seat. It's an extraordinary chair which electronically adjusts, not just in the normal two or three ways, but in 16. I particularly like this little rib hugger. Oh, yes. But a £100,000 car should be a little frightening as well as comfy. Now, whilst Jaguar have been producing wonderful luxury saloons and grand tours for a long time now, what they always seem to lack is a car that can really handle well. And even the XKR rolls too much and spins all the power away in a cloud of smoke. Will the RS prove to be my sort of Jaguar? Well, there's a bit of smoke in the rear view mirror, but nothing like as bad. The car was much stiffer, it pitched into the corner nicely. How will the roll be? No, it's staying flat, it's responsive. This is more me. You can get it a bit too much one way, and it goes back the other way. It's, it's, it's still a little bit of a handful. I tell you what, you can forget this fancy seat. The improvement of the handling is worth 20 grand to me. Woohoo! Nice. So the Jaguar XKRS is worth every penny of its staggering price tag. But that's not the end. The XJ220 may have beaten it in a drag race, but I couldn't call myself a petrol head if I didn't find out which is quickest over a lap. First up, the XJ220. Start the clock now! It's got this three and a half litre metro turbo engine in the back. It gives a hell of a lot of punch. Cornering at 110 miles an hour. Boost comes in. Those in tip, but that back might want to step out at any minute. It doesn't. We're clear. The steering's heavy. We clip the curve one way and the other. Onto the runway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It wants to change ends. 140, 50. Now how late can I break? The old girl fights. We're into two quarters to go. Punch it. Second. Third. Head for the finish line. The old girl finishes in 1 minute 13.4 seconds. Can the XKRS possibly beat that? Start the clock now. Great steering feel, the higher the speed, and the more comfortable the handling. Now don't get it too sideways, Tiff, no showboating. Keep it neat, keep it neat, that's good. A little bit, that's, that's good again. And fire it over the curb and onto the straight. 1 minute 14.2. It's just eight tenths behind the iconic supercar that 17 years ago cost £400,000. Maybe the £100,000 price tag isn't so outrageous after all. Super Veloci, the Lamborghini that reigns terror over all others. The most expensive, the most powerful, the most Lambo. The last model to wear the SV. Oh, no, no, no. And yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.